Hey everybody, I thought that it would be fun for us to read another story together. So I wanted to share one of my favorite superhero stories. You ready? Okay, this story is called T-Rex Trouble. Dinosaur fossils were on parade in the city of Metropolis. The various dinosaurs looked huge and amazing, but they were just a bunch of dry old bones. That is, until Lex Luthor appeared and sprayed the T-Rex skeleton with his special foam. With this foam, I can create some powerful allies of my own and become invincible. Ooh, that sounds bad. Lex Luthor's special foam covered the fossil and the T-Rex came to life. What would you do if a T-Rex came to life? My plan is working, Lex laughed as the dinosaur roared and the people of Metropolis ran away in terror. Lex rode the living T-Rex and sprayed the other fossils from the parade, causing them to come to life as well. The, pteranod the pteranodon, that's a big word. The pteranodon flew into the sky. The triceratops stomped through the streets. Oh no, the dinosaurs have come to life. The Flash was the first Superman to see the living dinosaurs wreaking, wrecking havoc on the city streets. He called the other super friends. You won't believe what's happening at the parade. Come quick. Suddenly, the flying pteranodon appeared and grabbed the flash. The hero's fast feet couldn't touch the ground, so he couldn't get away. Oh no, what's gonna happen? With the dinosaurs under his control, Lex scared the townspeople into submission. Lex Luthor forced them to give him their money, valuables, and other possessions. Then the super friends arrived on the scene. Stop right there, Batman yelled at, Rhett, at Lex. Attack, Lex ordered the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs charged at the super friends. Batman used the bat rope to lasso the triceratops, then leapt onto its back. The dinosaur bucked, but Batman held on tight. Green Lantern created a glowing green tornado with his power ring to distract the pteranodon. Then he rescued the Flash from its grasp. He set the Flash safely on the ground. Thanks, the Flash said. For a second, I thought I was going to be fast food. Superman took on the T-Rex. He avoided the dinosaur's sharp teeth while he kept the dinosaur's powerful jaws from snapping shut. Ooh, Superman's got strong muscles. Then Batman saw a grocery truck and he had an idea. He steered the Triceratops into the truck, knocking it over. Meat and fish poured out of the truck. When the prehistoric creature smelled the meat and fish, they ran to the food. They must have been hungry. The Pteranodon and the T-Rex started to eat. With the, dinos with the dinosaurs distracted by the free food, the Flash was able to grab Lex. Lex's plan had failed. He didn't count on the super friends making friends with the dinosaurs. The Super Friends built a home for the creatures. Everyone cheered. The Super Friends saved the day. Okay, who remembers who came to life in my story? That's right, the dinosaurs came to life. 
And how did the super friends save the day? What did they do to get the dinosaurs to stop attacking everybody? They knocked over a truck and food from the grocery store truck fell out into the streets and the dinosaurs started eating the food. And then they were able to grab Lex Luthor. What did they do with the dinosaurs in the end? They built a home for the dinosaurs, kind of like a zoo. Have you ever been to a zoo where you've seen some animals? Yeah. Can we really have dinosaurs come to life? No. So this is just a silly story. I love reading about my super friends. Thank you guys for listening to my story tonight. I'll see y'all later.